In this video, Peter Lynch explains how much low can stocks go and whether you should buy after a decline. If you like the video and want more, leave a like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of times people buy on the basis the stock has gone down this much. How, you know, how much further can it go down? I remember when Polaroid went from 130 to 100, people said, here's this great company, great record. If it ever gets below 100, you know, just buy every share, you know, and it did get below 100. A lot of people bought on that basis saying, look, it's gone from 135 to 100. It's now 95, what a buy. Within a year, it was 18. And this is a company with no debt. I mean, this is a company, it was just so overpriced, it went down. Uh, I did the same thing in my, uh, I think my first or second year of Fidelity. Kaiser Industries had gone from $26 a share to 16. I said, how much lower can it go? It's 16. So I think we bought one of the biggest blocks ever on the New York, on the American Stock Exchange of Kaiser Industries at 14. I said, you know, it's gone from 26 to 16. How much lower can it go? Well, at 10, I called my mother and said, Mom, you got to uh, look at this Kaiser Industries. I mean, how much lower can it go? It's gone from 26 to 10. <laughs> well, it went to 6, it went to 5, it went to 4, it went to 3. And uh, now I am fortunate this happened rapidly, or I would probably be still caddying or uh, being, uh, working at the stop and shop, but I, it happened fast. So I was able to, this, this was compressed. It, uh, and at 3, I figured out, you know, there's something very wrong here because Kaiser Industries owns. 40% of Kaiser Steel, they own 40% of Kaiser Aluminum, they own 32% of Kaiser Cement, they own Kaiser Broadcasting, they own Kaiser Sand and Gravel, Kaiser Engineers, they own Jeep, they own business after business, and they had no debt. Now I learned this very early, this might be a breakthrough for some people, it's very hard to go bankrupt if you don't have any debt. It's, it's tricky, some people can approach that, it's a, real, it's a real achievement, but they had no debt, and the whole company at three was selling at about 75 million, at that point, it was equal to buying one Boeing 747. I said, there's something wrong with this company selling for 75 million. I was a little premature at 16, but uh, I said, everything's fine, and eventually this will work out. And they, what they did is they gave away all their shares to their shareholders. They, they passed out shares in Kaiser Cement, they passed out shares in Kaiser Aluminum, they passed out their public shares in Kaiser Steel, they sold all the other businesses, and you get about $50 a share. And, but if you didn't understand the company, if you're just buying on the fact the stock had gone from 26 to 16, and then it got to 10, what would you do when it went to 9? What would you do when it went to 8? What would you do when it went to 7? This is the problem that people have, is they sell stocks because they didn't know why they bought it, then it went down, and they don't know what to do now. Do you flip a coin? Do you walk around the block? You know, <laughs> what do you do? It's psychiatry that haven't worked so far. I've never seen them running in. The, the, the psychological psychiatry fund, I've never seen listed for the, uh, for the SEC to make it through as a mutual fund. So I, they haven't seemed to help. Uh, I've tried prayer, that hasn't worked. The, uh, the, uh, so if you don't understand the company, you have this problem when they go down. Uh, eventually they always come back. Uh, this, one is, uh, this one doesn't work either. Uh, people think uh, RCA just about got back to its 1929 high when General Electric took it over. Uh, a lot of double knits never came back, remember those beauties? Uh, uh, floppy disks, Western Union, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, people saying it'll come back. Well, it doesn't have to come back. Uh, here's another one you hear all the time. It's $3, how much can I lose? I've had people call me up saying, I'm thinking of buying this stock at three, how much can I lose? Well, again, you, you may need a piece of paper for this, but if you put, uh, if you, you put $20,000 in a stock at 50, or your neighbor put $20,000 at, at 50 into the stock, and you put $20,000 in at three, and it goes to zero, you lose exactly the same amount of money. Everything. And people say, it's three, how much can I lose? Well, if you put a million dollars on it, you can lose a million dollars. Just the fact that stock, this is the only, this may be a reason to research a stock. The fact that stock is three down from 100 doesn't mean you should uh, buy it. And in fact, short sellers, people that really make money in stocks, they don't short Walmart, they don't short Home Depot, they don't short the great companies, Johnson Johnson. They short stocks down from 80 to 7. They'd like to short it at 16 or 22, but they, they figured out at seven that this company is gonna go to zero. They just haven't blown taps on this thing yet. It's going to zero. And they're, they're selling short at seven, they're selling short at six, at five, at four, at three, at two, at one and a quarter. And you know to sell something short, you need a buyer. Somebody has to buy the damn thing. And you wonder, who's buying this thing? It's these people saying, it's three, how much lower can it go? You know, the, uh, 